Sisal fiber is produced from various varieties of the agave plant, which are indigenous to the arid regions of North and Central America. The plant is characterized by its leaves, which grow to a length of over one meter and yield a long, creamy white and very strong fiber. It's a hardy plant that prospers in areas of limited rainfall and is able to withstand extended periods of drought. Globally, the total fiber produced annually is estimated at approximately 220,000 tons from the main growing areas in South America, specifically in Brazil and Mexico, China and East Africa in Kenya, Tanzania and Madagascar. Historically, sisal fiber was primarily used to manufacture agricultural baler twine as well as other cordage and sacks. But these markets have declined in importance, particularly for African sisal. The high quality fiber produced in East Africa is sold into a variety of markets and is used in high quality carpets, buffing or polishing cloth, wire rope cores and in speciality pulps that are used in the manufacture of, among other things, cigarette papers and banknotes. Sisal fibre is increasingly used in the building industry, particularly for plaster reinforcement. Sisal is also used in dartboards, handicrafts, and there is an emerging potential in composites for the car industry and in plastic products. Brazil is the largest producer of sisal fiber. Here, the plant is grown by small-scale farmers and the leaves are processed manually through a small machine known as a raspador. The dried fiber is sold to merchants and ultimately brushed and baled. Unlike in East Africa, where most fiber produced is exported, the majority of fiber produced in South America is consumed within the producing countries. In East Africa, sisal is almost exclusively produced on large-scale commercial plantations, primarily using a specially developed hybrid plant. During its lifespan, the plants can offer up to 20 cycles of cutting. The cut leaves are tied into bundles which are then arranged at the end of planting rows for verification and collection. Leaf bundles are loaded by hand onto large trailers and transported to the processing factory. At the factory, the leaves are passed through a large machine known as a decorticator or corona where the fiber is extracted. Water is used in the decortication process in order to wash the fiber and to assist in the removal of leaf tissue. The wet fiber is then taken to drying grounds where it is spread onto wires and left to dry for a period of 24 hours. When thoroughly dry, the fiber is taken to the brush room where it is brushed to separate the individual fibers and prepare them for grading. The fiber is graded according to length, color and blemishes. After sorting, the different grades of fiber are placed in boxes which are delivered to a baling press where the fiber is compressed and consolidated into bales ready for shipment. Considerable attention is given to grading and quality control with the higher grades fetching a better price. The main grades produced in East Africa are 3L and UG. As well as providing housing, some of the larger plantations in East Africa have fully funded nursery schools and provide free healthcare services for their employees and immediate dependents. Sisal is a very versatile fiber that can be used in many different end uses and its production provides livelihoods to many thousands of people in the developing world.